Rosanna. Okay, thank you very much. More now on that um, bridge fiasco. Uh, Chris Christie scandal, it's growing. Although, I tell you what, yesterday, Rosanna, we watched this press conference nearly two hours. I thought he did very well, considering how difficult the circumstances are. He was different than he normally is. Very apologetic, very humble. An hour and a half long press conference, but many people are still wondering, is this over? Joining us right now. Oh, what? All right, here we go. Let's yeah. go to our panel. Let's we got go Steve Adubato. Uh, he's an expert on all things New Jersey. You see him on PBS all the time. And we got Tara Daldell, uh, a Democratic strategist. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Let's Good just hold this uh, for a moment, and uh, sure. we want to hear some highlights from yesterday. Go. Uh, I apologize to the people of Fort Lee. And I apologize to the members of the state legislature. I also need to apologize to them for my failure as the governor of this state to consider my apology on behalf of this government. I, I am sorry to all the people of this state that they So how do you think the governor handled this yesterday, Steve? Well, first of all, um, it's an incredibly difficult situation, but he's responsible for the situation. He acknowledged that he's responsible for the situation. He should have been engaged in the situation sooner, and he acknowledged that as well. Couple things. Being sorry for it and apologizing is one thing. That's a start. But his actions are more important. He fired Bill Stepien. Let's be clear, without getting inside baseball. Well, I thought he said he, he asked him to step aside. Yeah, he didn't. He, he did not use the word fire. fire. He used that with okay. Bridget Kelly. Semantics, my opinion. Okay. Bill Stepien uh, is gone. Bill Stepien was his chief political campaign manager in the campaign. He asked him to be the Republican state chairman. Yeah, and he's gone. Now, now, here's the thing. You do not ask the Republican state chairman to be Bill Stepien if, in fact, you know Stepien was involved. That's why I believe the governor, because he would not have done that if he... Now, should he have known? Some people say yes. The bottom line was he did that. He let him go right away, and he also fired Bridget Kelly. Yeah. That's a start, Tara, just a start. Tara, what do you think? Well, I think he had to fire Bridget Kelly. I mean, those emails were really damning. I mean, and whoever wrote, uh, is it wrong that I'm smiling? I mean, these are very damaging emails. People were stuck. There were people, um, the Office of Emergency Management uh, sent a letter to the mayor saying that people's lives were at risk, that uh, trauma cases weren't getting to the hospital fast enough. This is really problematic for the governor, and it is not over. Uh, the, we may have been somewhat impressed by his performance during the press conference. The Daily News, by the way, called it pathetic. Uh, a well, huge headline this morning. Yeah, well, I want to go to uh, another thing that Christie said yesterday. Listen to how he confronted his staff over this whole matter when he, when he was asking for answers. Watch this. Staff together, I think about four weeks ago, tomorrow, and I put to all of them one simple challenge. If there is any information that you know about the decision to close these lanes in Fort Lee, you have one hour to tell either my chief of staff, Kevin O'Dowd, or my chief counsel, Charlie McKenna. Just one thing about that that I noticed. Why didn't he say, you tell me right now? Why did he defer to those two individuals? I think that should have happened. In fact, later on in the press conference, he did say that he went to them and said, you need to come to me. So you need to clarify that. I think what the governor should have done was to say, come to me. Now, he's going to go around and do that. He could argue it's too late. He's going to say that. But I want to be clear on something. Well, there are a million questions here that are unanswered, and that's why there are investigations and they need to continue, and no one in the governor's office should get in the way, and the governor can't get in the way. Right. Let's be clear. The governor takes responsibility. A couple of heads roll. More heads need to roll. Benghazi, whose head rolled? IRS, well, whose head rolled? No, no, no. Right. no, I want to be clear. I want to be clear. Well, we want to be clear, too. Excuse me, Steve. Let me be clear. This is so much more understandable and direct than Benghazi. You know These what? are I'm black and white. This is so petty. And it's so wrong. And so wrong. I want to be clear on this. The governor is saying this is so wrong. He said it's disgusting. What I'm trying to say is, when you ask the question, can he survive politically, I don't even think that's the issue. What's much more important is finding out the truth. And I'm saying he started yesterday, yeah. late in my opinion, but started the process of moving that forward. The, and nothing should get in the way of it, is my the, point. The problem yeah. is this really doesn't pass the smell test. We are being asked to believe that a governor who's a former prosecutor, who is notoriously controlling and a micromanager hands-on... He said he wasn't a was, micromanager. Was, he says that's he, a miss. He, uh, 
he uh, says he's been that. mislabeled. He says that, but his reputation says otherwise. So you don't believe him? Inside. No, absolutely not. And I will tell you, the notion, and most people don't believe him, and that's going to be his biggest but problem. But what research do you have that says most people motive, don't believe but, him? But the, but the motive was it's retribution, <laughs> right, for the mayor who would not support Governor Christie. Now, On the part Governor, of those who did this, right. yes. And so but, Governor yeah. Christie says that he never asked for this mayor's support. We have the mayor's reaction, by the way. Right? Uh, yeah, he says on. he did not. The governor apologized to the mayor. Let's listen to the mayor. Mayor uh, Skukulich. Mm -hmm. I take him for, for his it. word. Which is what? Which is he had nothing to do with it. I take him for his word. Which is what? Which is he had nothing to do with it. We are not. All right, he said it twice. No, 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 if he says it a third time, does that mean he believes <laughs> hold it? On, hold on one second. What? So there it is. You just said most people, quote, most people don't believe him. Why don't you just tell the mayor that he doesn't believe him? Here. Now, do you make a broad oh, statement see, like no, that no, that see, most see, people don't believe him? No, no, there are no, reasons. No, a lot of people don't believe him. A lot of people don't believe him. You're right, Steve. And what Tara just said is a perfectly acceptable um, opinion to have right now. That most the, people don't believe him. No, no, right. no, no, no. That's her impression, and that's fine. That's a legitimate that's an impression, opinion. though. Yes. But the mayor... Who had a he lot said, on the I'll line here? He take him at his words, which is a very parsing statement to make. That's what you say. That it sort of gives you some wiggle room. But here's the issue: Th that Chris doesn't Christie mean has a, Chris like Christie this. has a track record of saying that he's been misled. Let's not forget Brett Schundler, who was his education commissioner. Right. He accused Brett Schundler of lying to him about the application to the federal government for those additional dollars for the state of New Jersey. They did not get the the funding. And Brett Schundler's on the record saying, "No, no, 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 no. I did not mislead the governor." I, I remember. So, yeah, I remember. Are we to believe that, that so, this so, tough governor is being misled so over all these years? There's a pattern of lying. There's a pattern of lying that you know about. No. So why don't you bring that to the prosecutor if you know that? No, Steve. Well, I'm not. I'm that, not, let's I'm not, not, let's not make it like this. this but is you, not, listen, you I want understand. to deal with this issue. Steve. If you don't think Benghazi is relevant, relevant, then why is that? No, excuse me, Steve. I don't want to make this like Crossfire. I really don't. Benghazi is a bit more complex. We're going to keep it on the issue. I think this is horrific. What happened? Okay. I want to be clear. All right. Absolutely horrific, and those people suffered. Yeah. But we need to find out the truth. So is this criminal? Because uh, we've, we've heard about civil, right? right? We, there's talk about a civil lawsuit going on right mm -hmm. now. Is what happened here criminal? That's and why the U.S. attorney be... should be involved. That's why the U.S. attorney should investigate. And I hope we find out whether it is or isn't. But that's not a political discussion. One thing that was interesting, he said, I think quite clearly, he fired Bridget Kelly for lying to him. Right. For lying to him. What about what she did originally? Should have been fired for that. Right. Uh, it just it, it, it kind of made it a little bit all about him in that yes. press conference. And what about those two high-ranking Port Authority officials, associates, associates of his, who left Baroni and about a month ago? Yeah. Right now. Yesterday, they didn't drive him on the timing of their departures, did they? I didn't. I didn't. I no, didn't. there was not a lot of questioning surrounding them. And I work. I'm a former employee of the Port Authority, and I can tell you that a governor puts a person at the Port Authority because they want that person to represent their interests. So it was and suspicious when they left about a month is ago. Absolutely, because in order, those are typically people that you are very. Life, that's their yeah. They're yeah. typically yeah. people the that you're. The Port Authority is a plum appointment. A lot of people may not know this. It's a plum place to land as a political person because the salaries are higher. It's a nice place to work. They do a lot of uh, big things. Yes. And so typically the people there are people you are close to. So if you Agreed. are let go from there, that is a big deal. So they should have been asked. Well, the the governor was, you know, giving this press conference. David Wallstein was, was pleading the, the fifth. fifth 20 times yes. yesterday. Yes, and, and I will say this. David Wallstein and Bill Baroni, Bill Baroni, the top-ranking person at the Port Authority, should have been pressed hard as to why they were leaving, pressed hard as to what they did and why they did it. They were not. That was a terrible mistake. Well, we'll see what happens next. Uh, and, oh, by the way, can Chris Christie run for president in 2016 with, uh, now that this has erupted, first to you, Tara. I would say the donors are going to decide. The Republican Party donors will make that decision. And right now, I've got to believe they're skittish. Because remember, the primary base, the base voters of the Republican Party, don't really like Chris Christie. Some of them are already yeah. saying, I'm so happy the media is beating up on him instead of me. Conservative blogs are already sort of saying mm -hmm. that. And that's a problem. Steve, what does do he think? run? Long way off. Just remember Bill Clinton, people said, was dead in the water. And uh, he became president and won twice. Long way off, but Chris Christie has a lot more work to do, but he started it yesterday. Interesting. Tara Dodell, Steve Adubato, thank you both very much.